What is going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Kevin here coming at you from the Crazy iPod Reviewer YouTube channel with a very special video on this iPhone 6 case by Envelop. This is the Prime Series Slim Fit Protection Case and I purchased this on Amazon.com for $11.93. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this case and sit back and relax. Envelope is not really a phone case manufacturer that I'm very familiar with. This is actually my first Envelope case that I've had the privilege of checking out, but I really wanted to buy it for you guys so that you could really get a nice idea of the quality, and so that once you order the case and get it in the mail, there won't be any surprises because after watching this video, you'll know what to expect. So let's cut it on open here. It just came in this nice sealed bag. Like I mentioned before, I got it on Amazon.com for $11.93. So let's see if it's actually worth that $11.93 price tag. Pull it out here. And it comes with this little preview screen, kind of looks like an iPhone 6. And it does not come with a screen protector or anything like that. Let's see if I can kind of get this thing out. Gosh, it's kind of hard to get out. So yeah, no screen protector or anything like that, but that's not really a big deal. Alright, so here is the case, the Envelope Gray Clear iPhone 6 case. This is the Prime series, of course. So my first impressions are quite positive. It seems like a nice quality case. It's definitely hard on the outside, so this is something that you're not going to have to... I don't know, it depends. Some people like it when the case is very hard, others don't, but it's not flexible at all. Unlike this other case here that I reviewed in the previous video, from Omaker, this is very flexible, whereas this case is very stiff. This case has a kind of frosted outside on it, and then we do have this black band going around the sides here. So it gives you a nice contrast there. It's definitely stylish looking. You can see down in the corner here, we do have the envelope logo. Looking down at the bottom, we have plenty of room for most of the ports, except for the port right here for the 3.5mm headphone jack. That's one thing that really bugs me about iPhone cases is that they don't always give you a lot of room and this looks really small. If you have a really big jack that you're going to plug in, something professional grade, something high quality, you might have to remove this case first in order to plug in. It's definitely something you might want to think about. If you have an auxiliary jack that you use all the time, then this might not be the case for you. If you're a photographer, however, there's plenty of room here so that your flash and everything like that and the camera lens are nicely exposed. The volume rockers seem a little stiff. We have the hole right here for this, um, the mute button and the sleep wake button is right here on the side. So let's now put the iPhone 6 inside of the case and the installation isn't really that complicated. You usually want to go in first with the this side because it has the most buttons and then just kind of shimmy it on in. There we go and the phone is now in the case. So here's how it looks and I have this iPhone 6 and this is the space gray color. There's how it looks in the case. Like I mentioned there's plenty of room for the camera module and then they even have this little line on the case that kind of mimics where the antenna bands are on the actual device. Buttons are pretty firm here which could be a good or bad thing if you accidentally push buttons a lot you probably won't on this device but then again if you're kind of weak you might not like this because it's kind of tough to push these buttons. Same goes for the volume rocker buttons. And then of course for the uh, mute switch, you can pretty much easily press that. And then like I mentioned on the bottom here, this could be an issue potentially for you if you like to plug big things into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as there is not really a whole lot of room there. So what's my final verdict on this case? Well after taking a look at it, I don't know if it's necessarily worth the $11.93 price tag. It's not bad by any means, but it's not something that I would personally love. I don't really see this protecting very much. There's not a huge lip here. That's always important to see how much lip there is in case you want to lay this face down. But there's some room, but not a ton of room. Now that other case I was showing you, that Omaker case, I much would prefer that, and that's actually $2 cheaper on Amazon. And I prefer that because it's more flexible, it's easier to take on and off. I'm definitely a person that likes to put different cases on at different times. You might be that way too. Well, if you have a phone like this, it's a little harder. Not too hard to take off the case, but decently difficult. And yeah, I like the way that everything's kind of fancy and organized. It doesn't look cheap, doesn't feel cheap, but just kind of the aesthetics of it aren't quite my preference. 
But that doesn't mean I don't recommend it. If you think this is something for you, I don't think it's a bad choice. And for $11.93, you don't really expect to get some really huge extravagant case. I think for $11.93, it's priced pretty fairly, but you might want to look at other options as well. And fortunately, on my YouTube channel, I have dozens of iPhone 6 case reviews so that you can really scurry through all of those and make a nice educated choice for yourself. And yeah, finally, I want to mention that I'm trying to remove this case and I'm having a really hard time doing it. It's just not flexible at all, which is really frustrating. I, don't, I feel like I'm going to break the phone just by taking off the case. And I was finally able to remove the case after a decent amount of pain. So if you're someone who bites your fingernails or something, I don't, but... If you do and you have very short fingernails, this might not be a case for you. You might want to consider that. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video on this iPhone 6 case from Envelope. If you are a company and you're interested in sending me out a product to review, please make sure to send me an email at my email address, which is crazyipodreviewer at AOL.com. If you're new to the channel, you should definitely consider hitting that subscribe button as it's a great way to show your support and you won't miss any of my future videos. Also, hit me up on social media at facebook.com slash crazyipodreviewer and instagram.com slash crazyipodreviewer. Also, thumb up the video. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.